Welcome back to the Gray Fox Manum. Yes, this is the GFM. This is the channel that is dedicated to encouraging men as they enter into the most fulfilling time of their lives. Now, since it's fall, we're in this equinox in between kind of period. And I don't know where you're from, but here in San Diego, we have a lot of, say, moderate temperatures in the daytime. And then once the sun sets, forget it, the temperature just drops. So we need to be flexible when it comes to our outfits. One of the easiest ways to be prepared for these fluctuations in temperature and keep an elevated style is with some light outerwear. And I'm talking specifically about sports coats, suit jackets, or blazers. Someone recently wrote to me and asked me to do a video on the differences between sports coats, blazers, and suit jackets. And since it's fall, it's the perfect time to talk about these. Now, it should be said that language is constantly evolving as is our fashion choices. And because of this, you'll find that there will be a great deal of overlap in these terms, which is really the purpose of this video. We're really gonna focus more on the commonalities between these three terms than their differences. Okay, firstly, sports coat. A sports coat is a standalone item, meaning it's not specifically part of a suit. It was originally made just as the name implies, to be worn outside in the chillier months during sporting events, such as like fishing or hunting. Because of this, the fabric is typically thicker than what you would find in a suit jacket. But again, these terms are evolving. If you ask eBay for a sports coat, for example, you're going to be directed to any men's jacket that doesn't come with matching trousers. So this item has come to have the broadest definition. Historically speaking, a sports coat would mean a jacket that is worn more casually, a thicker fabric, like a tweed, and has less structure than its more formal cousin, the suit jacket. Blazer. A blazer was originally developed to be a specialized uniform for a club or a row team or a fraternity. It was placed somewhere on the formality scale between the sports coat and the suit jacket. Its most easily distinguishing marks, though, were its use of contrasting buttons, usually of brass. Today, we're seeing fashion houses like Armani, Tom Ford, and Ralph Lauren using blazer elements to further blur the lines of formality. For example, here you see me wearing this navy cashmere blazer with contrasting horn buttons. Suit jacket. Now a suit jacket is the upper portion of a two or three part outfit. What's important to note is that all pieces of the outfit are made from the same bolt of cloth. That's actually why it's called a suit. It's derived from a French word that means following. It's actually the same root word that we use when we talk about, say, a suit in a deck of cards. So again, the root word directly translated means following. It implies an organized sameness. Because a suit is constructed from the same bolt of cloth, I've seen content creators say that you should never wear a suit jacket and its accompanying trousers separately. The rationale would be that they would suffer wear differently and would therefore no longer match perfectly. I personally don't prescribe to this purist notion. I think the differences would be insignificant. As you probably know, I prescribe to the capsule closet concept and believe that you should buy every item of your wardrobe, your suits included, with the idea that you're going to purposefully match items with other items to get the most outfits possible and the most bang for your buck. I've also seen other content creators say that your suit jacket would be of a thinner material and therefore wouldn't match a more casual outfit. Again, I have to respectfully disagree. This would certainly be true if your suit were silk, but most suits out there are made of wool and would match a nice pair of chinos just fine. All of this just to answer the question, can you wear a suit jacket separately from the rest of the suit and be used in effect as a sports coat? I say the answer, especially nowadays, is a resounding yes. I have many times worn my suit jackets with contrasting suit trousers, to form what's known as an odd suit. I've also worn suit jackets with chinos or even jeans, effectively making my suit jackets a sports coat. Just be careful with your color combinations and be careful not to make an extreme jump in formality. For example, I think a double-breasted suit jacket may be a bit too formal to be worn with jeans. 
Guys, what do you think? Do you think a suit jacket should only be used with a suit? Or can you mix it up a little bit with a more casual outfit? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. There are lots of differing schools of thoughts on this and some would consider this controversial. Guys, please ever so gently depress that like button on your way out the door. I so appreciate that. And hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already. Join the mandem and let's help each other become better men. Take care guys, peace.